What's up, man? 25 Gamers. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another Nickel 335 Pressure. Um, the play we're going to be looking at today is going to be the Loop um, the loop Crash 3. Uh, loop Crash 3 is what it is. It's a zone blitz, and we're going to show you how to use it. Uh, I've showed you three or two other zone blitzes. Today's going to be the third, and then um, sometime soon I'm going to show you a man pressure out of this. So um, there's the Loop Crash 3, and we're just going to call random play here just so everyone's out on a route so I can show you all right so what you want to do is it's the same look at everything else we've done we're just going to base a line and we're going to shift our linebackers to the right now you can put you can slide Bruce Irvin out if you want it doesn't really matter or you could leave him in but what you really want to do is slide Thurman down and the only only adjustment you have to make after this is you just want to re-blitz Cliff Averill and what you're going to see is we're going to get right or uh, excuse me left edge pressure at the quarterback now it's obvious that you know, that's probably the best way to go from this formation. And uh, another thing we're going to show you is some pressure later. But if we don't re-blitz, you see there we didn't re-blitz Cliff Averill. And that's going to cause it to get uh, picked up sometimes. Now, not always. It won't always get picked up like that. Sometimes it will. So that's why I like just to be safe and just re-blitz him and create that overload concept with the uh, screaming pressure off the left edge. Now, if you want to send it off the right edge real quick, I do want to go over how to do that. So if we want to send off the right edge, we're going to put Thurman in a zone now. And we're going to re-blitz both defensive ends. So we're going to re-blitz Averill and we're going to re-blitz Clemens. And now you're going to see Clemens is going to get that really good rush angle at the quarterback. Now, in my opinion, uh, the pressure is definitely better off of the left edge. But if you send it off the right edge as a mix-up, you may consider just re-blitzing um, that linebacker just to give him a little bit sharper of a blitz angle so that he doesn't get so so it doesn't occupy the center. And that's the idea there. So that's left and right. And then if you want to set it two-way, just re-blitz both defensive ends and then re-blitz that linebacker. And it's actually pretty simple to do once you get the hang of the adjustments. But it's it's just something that I, I wanted to share. Uh, three blitzes for one today, uh, three for one coupon today. So um, just a quick couple things you can do out of this formation, guys. There's a lot in nickel 335. I think a lot of people sleep on this formation um, because of the idea that, you know, you can't run a three down lineman set, but these blitz angles from nickel three through five allow us to do that. So thanks for watching today. Hopefully you guys caught everything I said real quick. We're going to go over them one more time for fun. Uh, left side pressure. We're just going to base a line. Actually, if you just wanted to base a line and shift, um, or excuse me, you want to base line, shift your linebacker to the right. And then you just want to make sure you re-blitz Cliff Averill. That's going to send left edge pressure. And then right edge pressure. You're just going to re-blitz. Um, you're just going to re-blitz both defensive ends. So both defensive ends, re-blitz them, and then put Thurman in a zone. And if you want to make sure it comes in, make sure to put KJ right. Make sure to blitz him straight down. And there you see pressure off the right. And then if you want to send two-way pressure, just do the first and second setup together. So move Thurman in and re-blitz both the ends and re-blitz the right of screen outside linebacker. And now you're going to see you're going to get two guys free. Why is it important to get two guys free? Well, if your opponent blocks a halfback, which a lot of people are doing right now because the offense is so overpowered this year, um, then we're going to be able to still get pressure. Uh, might not come in. Yeah, it didn't come in there. Because I forgot to reblitz the D end on the right side. My apologies for that. We'll show it to you one more time. Slide him in. We'll block... Um, we'll block... Um, crap. Who are we gonna, we're going to block the tight end this time. And now you see pressure going to come in off that left edge. So still pretty good heat uh, just in case. And then uh, some people, I think that this is a blitz that is really good against play action too. The two-way pressure uh, against PA because the blitz angles are so effective out of 335 that you're still, you see there we still get, um, oh, I forgot to blitz the guy, I forgot to blitz the guy down on the right. So my apologies. Uh, so there we go. And then we'll call the play action comeback play. We want to make sure we pass commit. And now we're going to get. Oh, shoot. Maybe we forgot to do something. Oh, I keep freaking. I think I keep forgetting to re blitz the uh, end on the right. So we're going to call the PA play here. And there you see, we still got a guy free. So thanks for watching today, guys. Hopefully it helps you. Uh, if it doesn't help you, let me know. I'll try to adjust my content for you. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to get back with you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, guys. Loop Crash 3, Zone Blitz. Uh, very simple pressure. Tomorrow, or the, a couple days later, we'll show you guys a, a man blitz out of this uh, to mix in with your Zone Blitzes. Thanks for watching today. See you later.